been at least 25 years that I've been working to encourage girls and women worldwide, but particularly in Africa and other developing areas, to become more involved with technology. My focus has been on Africa because I lived in Ethiopia for 25 years where I worked with the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. I remember thinking about the digital divide as early as 1990, that there was not only a divide between nations in terms of technology, but many other divides as well that mirrored already existing divides, and that if special efforts were not made, the new silver bullet of information technology would leave behind many girls and women and further marginalize them. I worked to make sure that these gender issues were included in the African Information Society initiative that African leaders adopted in 1995. Then as data became available on the internet and the differences between male and female access uh, to new other aspects of information technology, I saw that aggregate statistics masks the differences between male and female use. This became my focus in research and writing and advocacy over the last 15 years where I continue to be working, overseeing studies on women and technology in the knowledge society across the world. It is particularly gratifying to see that statistics on women and technology have been included in the Sustainable Development Goals. I'm very appreciative and honored by the GEM Tech Award. I would like to accept this award in the name of all the women who have worked uh, as global achievers in and on behalf of women, girls, and technology over the world. Thank you.